hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel thank you to all my returning subscribers i truly appreciate you please let me know what you think in the comments about this video i love talking to you if you are a new subscriber please click the subscribe button and like the video if you like what you see my pick me up self-care days always start with some skincare i start by applying the garnier mask which i enjoy using as an exfoliator i lather it all over my t-zone because those are the areas i need to exfoliate the most then i wait for it to get dry for a few minutes usually 15 to 20 minutes once i can feel that it has become dry i wet my face a bit so that i can start using it as a scrub to exfoliate my face once i am done with exfoliating i rinse my face and then i use my nivea sensitive wash lotion to wash my face it works best because it is so soft on my skin and it calms it from the exfoliation so now i'm just going to lather this on and massage my face i really enjoy this step it's very pampering and it's just it feels good I really enjoy it. So I'm just going to continue doing that until I can wash it off. Then I rinse my face wash off with these face pads from Discom. They are perfect for this. And just like that, I am done with my skin care routine for my pick-me-up days. This is the first part of the vlog. So now I'm going to move on to my makeup and do a rundown of the week that I've had and why I needed the self-care day so much. So right now, I don't know if I want to do my makeup or just go with the natural bare face. I am so lazy to take off makeup. I don't mind putting it on, but taking it off. <sighs> but at the same time, I feel like glamming up does cheer me up. I really feel better when I do my makeup and I just wear a cute outfit and just that whole process of getting ready. It really cheers me up and it's part of like the whole self-care thing that I'm doing today. I think let's do it, you know, let's do our makeup and um, listen to some music, mm, that would be so nice, mm, that's a vibe, mm, yeah. Let me just remember to put the meat back in the fridge because I will probably take the entire day, I just, I need it, oh, I need it all. I need it so let me put this back in the fridge but not i don't want it to be frozen i had a, a little bit of a tough week on monday i was late for an appointment i was one hour late for an appointment um because we had a, 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 a tire puncture and there was traffic it just messed up the whole schedule so i was caught between refunding my client or still going there and she was getting really upset because i was late granted you know and it was for grad guys if you know how stressful grad is you know that your makeup artist being late is the last thing that you need so thank god she allowed me to do her makeup she loved it she was so gracious like i'm so grateful I'm really so grateful. She was so gracious about it, you know. Because um, I was already nervous that, I mean, how am I going to do her face? Because she's already upset, you know. So it was very scary. But at the same time, I felt like I still need to go, um, you know. So, yeah, it was, it was tricky and like a very uncomfortable situation. So there was that and then we also went to go fetch my ID. Is this better? Chef's kiss, perfect. Oh my gosh, didn't realize I just dabbed on. Cause I don't want it to be like too much makeup, especially because it's a skin tint. I'm not trying to wear heavy makeup and all of that. But yeah, so 
um what happened so yeah then we went to home affairs mind you the home affairs that we went to is in my hometown in bronco spread so we drove all the way to bronco spread for me to get there wait three four hours to not get my id granted i was supposed to book online that's what i usually do all the time because i know how terrible home affairs is so it's just better to just book i was convinced to just go there even if i hadn't booked because collection is supposed to be like a seamless process because i was going to collect my id and they had been calling me to go there you know so i also believed you know what it's not going to be stressful it's going to be an easy process so i went without booking it didn't work out and mind you i had to also go to work so usually when i have to go to work during the day i don't like doing a lot of things i like to just keep my activities to a minimum so that i can still have enough time to rest and be fresh for work i get so tired that i can barely do anything so i was not able to sleep well because also like the car started having problems so we had to go to the dealership yeah guys <laughs> i ended up sleeping i think like two hours and then had to wake up to go to work so that was just like a lot um and then it was also just on top of the fact that you know it was petrol wasted because so every penny we just hold on to it i was okay throughout you know i think that's okay that's cute let me let me do a little bit of highlighting just so that my face is not flat so the highlighting under my eyes did not go too well my eyes started creasing and it was teary it was looking too powdered it got very irritated got red swollen it just didn't work out here though what is crazy is that here i was done with everything can you see how the under eye looks good like everything looks fine yeah it wasn't cakey everything was perfect this is where it starts going wrong guys my under eye is so i've fixed it up now i'm just putting powder so i just decided to put the skin tint only not mix it with other products put some powder there's a glow that the skin tint has that i love but i am going to bring it back look at my eyes guys i've never experienced this now i understand how clients with teary eyes feel you know when this happens like it's not their fault and it's so important to do skin analysis before makeup my wig and the whole situation i'm actually over it now actually i'm so over it but i'm gonna i'm gonna steer dress up like that this is yeah this is actually like coffee like this is like what you wear when you're going to like put laser because it's nothing serious you know because I feel like if now I put on my pencil skirt, I don't know. I feel like it's just a bit. Okay, so much as I want. I don't feel offended. What have been done? It's sugar tea, Do you want to tie it? this or let it loose like this i do so nice 
this one trust me you won't go wrong i wanna be in your life until the night is over i wanna hold you so tight so tight coming closer it's been a hell of a ride Thank you so much.